Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with NCAA 13 and the Coach Dunbar Snack Bar of the Ohio Bobcats. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this disclaimer right off the bat here for this coaching carousel game. Um, actually, of all the football games that I have played, whether NCAA or Madden or anything like that, since I've gone ahead and initially uh, started making videos, this is the most lopsided game that I have ever played. So I'm just throwing that right out here from the beginning because the thing is, is I've been struggling a lot you know with Madden and NCAA and the way that I've been playing here so I was kind of going to this game actually worried against um, Miami of Ohio but I don't know this has kind of gone ahead and lifted up my spirits I feel a bit more confident about things and this should end up being a ton of fun for me to go ahead and commentate but anyway, now that I've gone ahead and given that away, you guys probably have figured out how this game is going to end. Um, but one thing I am concerned with is that this is how other games uh, in the conference are going to go ahead and end up for us here because Ohio is one of the best teams uh, in the conference when you take a look at you know the talent of the players, the coach, hey, hey um, and a lot of other things here too. So uh, here we go, starting the game with an interception. We're going to be able to take that back here pretty far downfield to around the 10-yard line here. So we actually make a little bit past that here. First and goal. So a great way to be able to start the game off for us here with an interception like that, not just because of the interception, but the return that we got here. Oh, wow, well inside the 10-yard line. I'm actually at the sixth. All right, so going to go with a little option play here over to Boykin, who only gets a few yards, but that's okay. I like running that option here. Um, kind of towards uh, the latter parts of the game here, I kind of figure, you know what, why not go with something like this? So... Go with the toss. Boykin uh, able to get into the end zone here. The cannon. I love the cannon. That's my favorite, favorite uh, little clip that they show, I guess. But 7 to nothing here now. Seems like Miami just a little worried about the pass. So going with the run on third down does not work. So that is a three and out. Yes, it was that quick. One of the things about Miami, though, and, and this is, uh, I think, one of the things that contribute to the game being so lopsided is the fact that Miami loves to throw the ball. So one of the strengths, of course, you can utilize in the game if you know a pass is coming is you get a chance to play the pass. So basically every single play uh, where I'm on defense here against Miami, I'm going to go ahead and be playing the pass. So that gives me a gigantic boost, one that the computer, I feel, does not utilize. Well, the thing is, too, is you can't really tell when the computer's playing the pass. I guess you can a little bit, but... Anyway, pass the Boykin here who gets the first down. So we're continuing to move the ball here. Still 7 to nothing with 2 minutes and 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Make that second and 4. And then 3rd uh, and 3. That's for a 1-yard pickup on the ground. So there we go. Getting it to Boykin one more time up the middle for another touchdown. So here we go. 14 to nothing. This passing game is actually working very, very well. As I'm uh, continuing to play this, one thing that I am definitely noticing is that I have a tremendous advantage here with my wide receivers. So there's a lot of mismatches that I'm uh, going to try and go ahead and utilize in different points of the game here uh, with my wide receivers. And also kind of with the linebackers too. But third and four, that one going to get intercepted by Fisher. So we've still got things going our way. So we're still undefeated here as Ohio, but we really haven't played anybody um, that I have considered, you know, to be you know, a phenomenal team or anything like that. So I haven't really been challenged too much, and I don't necessarily think I'm going to here with conference play as well. So after the season, I might switch to another team. But those are some great moves right there. Did you see that? Honestly, it was that bobbing and weaving that got me, uh, got me those yards. But that one gets deflected, fourth and ten. But, of course, I'm going to have to go ahead, add some points to the board here. Because at this point in the game, I didn't think that it was going to be as one-sided here as uh, as it turns out to be. 17 to nothing here after that one. Hey, there's Coach Dunbar Snack Bar. Just cheering everybody on with his sweater, vest, and cap. Why not? I thought that was kind of a, a silly combo to go with. A sweater vest. I love it. Ah, but injury. That's going to go ahead and hurt Miami. They're not going to have... Their best running back in. Now there's Culpepper picking up a few yards right there. Third and three. And I am, of course, anticipating a pass. But they go ahead and get the first down because that's not what ended up happening. 
trying to read what was going on based off of the formation. I was completely wrong. But this one, going to get deflected here on third down. So that's going to make it fourth and 11. And, of course, Miami in this position will have to go ahead and punt again. So that means offense, which has been rocking it all game long. Boykin to the outside. Look at that passing up there. Or uh, that blocking, excuse me, up there in front of me. Seven-yard pickup. Second and three now for us. And, again, we go to Boykin up the middle who gets the first down and some more just by fighting forward. So things still going great for us. Really can't complain about anything at all. And then this goes ahead and happens. And even then, I really shouldn't complain too much about it because of all the good plays that I've had. It's all right for me to go ahead and get tackled and lose five on that one on the third down. But David catching it. First down. So I really got to give it to Miami. They've had some great plays where they've gone ahead and uh, been able to move the ball. Get the first down. Here's another great one. Now, that was just kind of like the computer glitch where they decided to go ahead and not, you know, play the wide receiver anymore. But Fisher with his second INT of the day catches that one. Not able to do too much with it after he makes the catch. And I've been struggling with that a lot lately. You know, after I go ahead and get the interception about coming back and running downfield. Computer can do it just phenomenally, but I can't. Phenomenally? I don't even think that's a word. My gosh. Ugh. I got to watch the English here. Second and ten completed to David. Eight-yard pickup right there. So, like I said, a lot of passes here, but every once in a while they make the run, and we're able to stop them there. Fourth and one. That was a big play for us. Minute 22 left here, and I'm going to try to see if I can score. So, uh, able to get it to Smith, who picks up five yards. We go with a hurry-up offense right here. Just trying to see how quickly we can get some points on the board. But look at that wide open for the touchdown. I had to do the dive because I thought that was great. There I was utilizing that mismatch that we had. Just wide open from the beginning. Absolutely, you have to exploit something like that here in this game. So a couple quick plays, a dive, and six points on the board. Seven if you include that extra point. So one minute left here, 24 to nothing. Ohio still on top. Another interception. This one on the next play is another touchdown for me here. Quick 14 points. Quick 14 points. That's like a matter of a few seconds. Of course Miami's not going to have a chance to come back after this, especially the way that I'm playing. And I kind of gave it away at the beginning of the video that this was going to be a blowout. But, hey, here we go at halftime. I change nothing. Why would I change anything right now with a lead of 31 to nothing? There is absolutely nothing that is going wrong right now. Maybe, maybe I could say the offensive line could be uh, – you know, helping out a little bit more on the run and, you know, protecting me on the pass. But but that's it. You know, and there's nothing really that I can do about the offensive line. So I will change nothing. So after that one, I get the ball one more time. So this could be a quick 21 points on the board here. But uh, I am running the ball with Boykin here partly because I see how this game is going. And I don't want the game to go ahead and continue like this. So I'm trying to run the clock down a little bit. That's really my main aim right now because I don't want it to be a blowout. I don't even know what's going on this game because other games I've been like, it's been super, super close on some of the other NCAA games that I have been playing here. And I, I don't know. I guess this was just one of those games where everything works in my favor and I won't complain about that at all. But hey, look at that. Another touchdown through the air. The passing game. Miami's been able to do nothing about it at all. Sure, I've had some incomplete passes and stuff like that, which you guys haven't seen because I've gone ahead and cut stuff like that out whenever I get an incomplete pass or the computer gets an incomplete pass, unless, of course, it's third down. But, um, gosh, overall, they've just had some major problems this game. There's another catch. Seven-yard pickup right there. Miami's still getting the ball, moving along with it here. And then a bad pass like that. That's what's been happening all game long. Jones refuses to go down. And because of that, another TD. Wow. That was actually pretty cool. I thought he was going down. Just had him by the waist and everything. And still not able to bring him down. That's awesome. So that kind of goes to, to show you guys. You got to tackle well. My guys are tough, too. That's another thing I just learned by that. Three minutes, 30 seconds, third quarter, 45-nothing. 
That one caught. First down. Fumble, though. So I guess not a first down. Everything that could be going wrong offensively for Miami has been going wrong. So a lot of turnovers here in this game. Far more. Far more than I usually see. And the fact that I haven't had any quite yet here, that also, too, is a must be some type of fluke. Because I've been turning the ball over right and left, actually. Just throwing so poorly to a lot of different people here. But, uh, and of course, I had to go ahead and ruin it right there. Of course, I have to throw the interception when I'm sitting here talking about how I've gone, you know, without a, a turnover all game long. Oh, well, what's going to happen here? Look at that. They've got decent field goal position. I'm actually cheering for Miami right now. I want them to go ahead and score, but at the same time, kind of playing against it here. Three INTs for Fisher on that one, and this is going to be very, very dangerous for me because of where this ends up making me go here because after I make the catch, I'm not able to come back here or run into the end zone. So I actually have to start off on the one-yard line. So I'm going to try and run it here because that's been working so well. And on the blitz, what was I thinking? Safety. Oh, man, this is the worst thing that has happened all game long. So sad in so many ways. Then I turned the ball over right there on a safety. So 45 to 2. That's a little cute, isn't it? They get two points. Gosh, I, why was I even in that formation? I'm going to be kicking myself in the face for that one. All right. But look at this. This has turned things around. Miami moving the ball through the air. Here's another chance. What was that? I That should not have been an interception. Here I go saying that my interception that I get should not count because totally grabs that one off the ground. But whatever. No challenge. I'm just going to keep running the ball here with Boykin. we get seven right there. And I'll pass it too because part of me is kind of interested. Like, how well can I do? It's kind of like with the limbo. How low can you go? How low can you go? How far can it pass? Yeah, far enough to get a big gain on that one. So I figured let's go with that again. There's another one to Boykin. Gosh, this momentum. I don't want to do anything to really stop it here. Because this has been awesome. Now I roll out to the outside. What a great diving catch. That's what you like to see out of your wide receivers, and I wish all of my wide receivers and all my different modes were playing like that. But get the touchdown on the keeper right here. Trying to go with an option just in case. 51-2 to two with 23 seconds left here. So, again, no big surprise that Miami's going with the pass. That's a great pickup. Definitely taking advantage of the fact that I was going with a man defense right there. And then there's another chance. For them to do some good off of this field position. But we go ahead and get the sack. So well timed right there for the defense. Third and 16. Why? Why would you run the ball when it's third and anything in the teams? But they're going to go for it on fourth and 17. I'm back playing the pass, of course. What I was figuring that they'd do. Not the smartest call. Why do you throw it out of the end zone here? Turnover on downs. And in the fourth quarter, in six minutes and eight seconds left, I now have possession at about the 35-yard line. So throwing downfield, Boykin wide open, exploiting another weakness here. And another dive here, too, because I am just so happy about this right now. I know I'm probably running up the score. And if you're a Miami fan, I apologize immensely. No, nothing personal on this year. I was just super excited. So, anyway. So, going to be trying to blitz here a little bit. It works well for me here. Another interception. I'm wondering if they're going to go ahead and pull the quarterback. Seriously, that's something that I would be, you know, very much considering right now. Is just pulling him. Because it hasn't worked at all. But, again, going with the pass. Again, a touchdown to Boykin through the air. This guy might get Heisman if we keep going like this here. But it's going to make it 65-2. to two. I kind of actually really want Miami to score 
you know, get a touchdown, pick up nine points total on the day. So I'm going to keep blitzing since it works really, really well. There we go. All right, first down. Let's keep going with this. Maybe I'll stop him too. Hey, there's another one to David for the first down. I got three guys back, so I don't think they'll be going with like a, a deep pass. They'll be going with a lot of short ones here. Frazier, keeping it moving here. Come on, you guys. Let's do this. Oh, they did actually go ahead and pull out their starting QB now. Huh. I wonder if they were listening to me or something like that. Frazier, another first down. So this uh, consistency here, you know, you kind of wonder what would happen. Oh, hey, well, that was a great catch, actually, off that deflection. No, you kind of wonder what happens if uh, you know, your backup quarterback comes in and he's rocking it. Granted, he's been sacked twice now. Only because the other team just blitzes everybody. Rushing eight men here, even though that five are defending. You still have to get it off, David. Come on, bob and weave, my man. Not able to get it. All right. So after a false start, that one goes incomplete on third down. They're going to go for it on fourth. Will I stop them by blitzing the entire game? Yes, I don't. I don't. This is like the only time I think that I'm ever going to really cheer for an opposing team to get a touchdown on me. That kind of looked really, really weird on the schedule, too, if there's only two points as well, because it's like, oh, shame. But then you could be like, oh, maybe they got three field goals. I don't know. But two minutes, 40 seconds left. That one's incomplete. Fourth and ten. So I'm going to go ahead and punt the ball right here. I don't usually show punt highlights. But when you punt as great as this, you have to go ahead and show it because that ends up going at the one-yard line. Look at that. So I'm going to do a little blitz here myself, which is four people. Payback! Oh, payback! That felt so nice. That's going to make it 68 points for me here too. 68 to 9, 2 minutes, 21 seconds. I am not done yet. This is what you get for going ahead and sacking me in my own end zone. But then again, that's also on me for being foolish. For, uh, first and five right here. Able to get it to Boykin, who goes to the 20-yard line. And my phone is going off. But one minute left here in the game. I'm not going to go ahead and redo it now that we've just got a couple plays left. But I'm going to go ahead and kneel the ball. So that is going to be the game of the most one-sided game that I have played in NCAA thus far. So we're going to see how this actually plays out for uh, the next few games with conference play. See if uh, this is how it ends up doing. Because first off, I might switch teams next year if somebody offers me a good position somewhere else other than Ohio. Plus, I don't know. I mean, I might mix things up here a little bit more and just kind of change the sliders as well. But, man, great game. I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry if you don't like blowouts, but... Man, this one felt good to finally go ahead and destroy another team. So I appreciate you guys watching. I definitely do. Feel free to subscribe, you guys, if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great stuff. All you have to do is just go ahead and check the description below. But thanks again, you guys, for watching. And as always, I hope you have a good one.